with that transcript, um, writing a blog post becomes a lot easier. Um, it sure does. Enter some context. You can even pull quotes that people said from the 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 transcript. We also like to make our blogs kind of um, up the fun level a bit. We embrace the gifts or the memes. Um, mm-hmm. It helps. It, it helps. You know, just just make it a little more fun and something again, something different. And um, also, it's great for SEO because every week we're putting up new blog content that That's right. came, that came about quite easily. It's like 100% that that purposeful calendaring of material so that you're minimizing the amount of production and reproduction and sort of like doing it over and over. So um, that's certainly something that you want to think about um, as you put material together. I think a lot of people maybe are feeling that the market is super saturated with podcasts. But what you're saying, I think it's a really interesting perspective point. It's like, we don't worry about the number of videos on YouTube. We don't worry about the number of blog posts. So um, let's look at that the same way. So if you do have guests, um, that is one concrete way to measure the success of your podcast. See how big your network's expanded through it. That's a really great point. Yeah, just the amplification that comes from a guest um, is what... Um, quantifying. You might not have fixed numbers, but you will, in fact, find out along the way that that's been instrumental in many, many things. 